Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Police C. And this $1.2 billion casino hotel needs $8 million a month directly from its owner, Genting Corporation, in order to keep the doors open. Let's go inside and take a look at this. This is one of the four casino hotels that was placed in upstate New York in the teens in order to spur economic development. They thought that this was going to win between four and $500 million a year and draw all sorts of gaming dollars from New York City, which is 85 miles away. But that did not happen. In fact, it doesn't even make $200 million a year in gaming revenue. Now, in addition to that, they have to pay a 40% tax rate on slots, even though New Jersey next door is not even 7%. And so there is a tremendous loss here every month. Inside, you can see they have a pontoon boat that they are putting up as part of a contest. You're going to need a pontoon boat to sail away from this sinking ship back to New York City because nothing has worked out here. It's a very boring property. Like most of the Resorts World properties, you've been to the Resorts World in Las Vegas, you've been to the one in Queens. They don't really have a lot of original concepts. It's basically a box with 300 rooms upstairs. This is the shopping district, I guess, over here on the left as we go past the lobby. They have a couple of restaurants, but the place is mostly empty all the time. There's not a lot of population around here, and there's so much competition in the Northeast that they are not able to compete with all of the rest of the casino hotels because there's nothing special going on here. It's really just, well, more or less a warehouse with a casino in it. Now, what is the reason why they cannot allow this to close? They are going for a full gaming license in Queens, which is probably about 100 miles from this in the same state. And if they allow this massive project, which they promised so much to the state of New York, if they allow this to fail, they are going to have a tremendous amount of egg on their face. They're going to look like idiots. They're going to look like they can't run a casino. They're going to look like they're not original. They're going to look like they're boring. They're going to look like they're clueless. They're going to look like everything that they are, to be honest with you, because I've been in their properties. And when that happens, the state of New York is going to say to them, you couldn't even keep a casino open upstate. So why should we give you the license in Queens? Now, the problem in New York State is they're taking forever to give away the license. So about 15 months ago, the parent put $100 million in here, which is $8 million a month, and that money ran out. Three months ago, after the money ran out, they put, had to put another $100 million in here, which is $8 million a month over the next year. And they have to hope that the state of New York finally figures out what they're doing and awards the license to their property in Queens because they're not going to want to put another $100 million into this. Vegas Paulie C.